The process of creating textures and materials in Dota 2 can be pretty bonkers. Exporting individual textures from your PSDs, then manually re-importing them into Dota 2 takes forever. With the help of Substance Painter and some smart setup, we can turn this process to easy mode. The first thing we'll want to do is set up our export menu. So file, export textures, or control shift E. We want to do a couple things. One, we're going to set config, the base config to so much Dota. As long as you've installed the so much Dota assets, you should have this there. Number two, set your export type to Targa in the top right. The third step is going to be exporting to the proper folder for Dota itself to auto import our textures for us. So you can see it here. It's in the Dota 2 beta content, Dota underscore add-ons, workshop underscore test bed, materials, models, items, and then your character's name. And that's the folder you want to set. I've set this exp the export process to add on the name of your asset properly. As long as we've created the correct naming in our material names, our texture set in substance should give us the final asset name. And so we're doing this through the scripting of the exporter. So I know my files, my folders are going to be in Dragon Knight, so I'm going to go ahead and select Dragon Knight as my folder. If you don't know your character's code name, you can do a test import through the Dota workshop tools and find which folder it created. Select Dragon Knight. And you can see if I open this up, you can see what it's creating. It's actually giving me all these textures and they're all named correctly. You can see it's going to put my Dragon Shield in Dragon Shield and then slash, which says it's a folder. And we're going to drop everything in as proper naming that's going to auto populate in the workshop tool. Now you can set texture sizes for each of these in this menu for each texture set. I'm just going to leave it at default. And as long as we've set this up correctly, when we hit export, we're going to export straight to those folders. So we can hit export, just it'll make the files for us. Before we go import these into Dota, let's just add the base material that I made. Just going to use base, SMM, and I'm just going to drag onto each of these assets. I'm going to select the other texture set, drag it on top. Control Shift E to pop up your export menu again. Hit export. I know we get temporary assets all in the right place. Everything should be set up for us to have a quick export of all of our textures for both assets. Now this is a huge gain in time. We're going to actually be able to export an entire armor set at the same time instead of having to individually import them one at a time, test them, edit them, we can see everything in real time. We're going to need a skinned mesh to import this into Dota properly. This model is pretty straightforward and it just has two joints, one for the sword and one for the shield. I've already skinned the assets to the joints. So let's get a quick export. We need to select the object we're going to export and the root joint of the model. You can do that just by control clicking. I use Maya for skinning because I have a lot of tools to work with for getting nice skin weights on my characters. This model is pretty simple, so we'll cover that in another video. Once we have those selected, I'm going to go to File, Export Selected. I'm going to change it to FPX if it's not already. And we'll export as Dragon, Shield, LOD zero, save. Now the one thing we want to make sure we do is an advanced options, FBX file information. Make sure we set this to 2012. Our smoothing groups, not smooth mesh. And that should be it. All right. And we'll do the same for each of the other assets. LOD one for this, which is the low poly. That'll be viewable in game. And we'll do the same with the sort. Now that we've exported all of our files, we're ready to go back to import these into Dota. Our next step is going to be getting our assets into Dota 2. So we're going to right click in Steam Dota 2. We're going to go to launch Dota 2 tools. And we're going to say launch item tools at the top here. Once we get here, we want to hit create new item. This part's pretty straightforward. What we want to do is tell we want to make a hero item, pick the hero that we're going to work work on. So I'm going to type in Dragon Knight. Now you have to hit enter if you type in or we'll select it. Um, I'm going to grab the shield first, which is my offhand item and hit select. This is case sensitive. If you do not name it the same as your material name identically, you won't get matches for your textures and it won't auto update properly. So Dragon underscore shield is the name of our asset. Because we're using the export settings from so much Dota, the end result will be some pretty quick population of the 
texture sets, but we do need to find the low polys real quick. So I'm gonna grab LOD zero for my shield. I'm gonna go ahead and grab LOD one for my shield. I've got both of our assets selected. Because I know my naming is correct, I can just select the color map and it should populate all of the rest of those assets. Now I'm gonna go to the workshop test bed, which I've got bookmarked with direct folders. I'm gonna go into Dragon Knight and you'll see now I have folders for Dragon Shield and Dragon Sword. So we'll go into Dragon Shield, we'll find Dragon Shield underscore color, and you'll see it auto imported all textures, auto, it auto selected them all. Now it's just a simple matter of hitting next. So it'll import my asset. There it is in the, the viewport there in the animation previewer. We want to make sure we save the session now that we've imported it. And we can we can consider this part done for this, this asset. Let's save the session and we're going to name it dragon shield underscore text. This is basically saying, hey, here's all the assets you imported. This would be easy for me to grab later that way. If I wanted to close my session and start up tomorrow, I can just at the beginning say create new item, load session, go grab dragon shield text and you'll see everything's populated the same way. Same naming, referencing the same textures. I hit next and we're back at the same spot we were at. Um, we'll close this. Create a new item, dragon, knight, weapon, enter, select, dra dragon, sword. We don't need any other suffixes. We're gonna select the asset. Again, I'm using my direct folders to Quickly go to the places I know I need to be. Grab Dragon Shield 0. We're already in that folder, Dragon Shield 1. Once again, go to our workshop test bed. Dragon Knight, Dragon Sword. We're going to find Color, TGA. It's the first texture in there. You can see it once again, I imported all of them, assigned them all automatically. Great. Now we got the sword in there. Great. Now, one thing you can do when you're doing a whole armor set, this becomes really awesome. So you can say select wearables here and you can actually add assets for any any assets that you want. If I had a whole armor set for this guy, I could pre-select all of them. So you'll see it'll pop up a window. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to start typing dragon because I know what my the name of my asset is. See dragon shield. There it is. I say OK and you'll see them both in the viewport now. Now, if I hit preview in game. Both my assets are in the Dota viewport, they're viewable in the same state they are in Substance right now. Same Z's. We're now at the point where our Substance textures can be exported instantly for both texture sets and auto re-imported by Dota 2 also instantly. So if I want to test that out, let's add a gem material to the sword. Take a peek there. Looking sharp little buddy. Do the same with the shield. Drag on this base material, control shift E and hit export. And when I tab back over, it's already updated in Dota. This also works when you're in the demo hero. So if we hit demo hero, we'll jump in the game. Let's do something a little bit more sensible with the materials. Let's grab a gold material and drop that on top. Do the same with the sword. See that in game. Bang, there it is. Gold sword, gold shield in game. Now this is still updating in the in the uh, front end as well. So there it is. Setting up our files correctly so that we export all our character assets at one time auto re-importing in real time in Dota 2. Easy mode. In our next video, we'll do a deeper dive into Substance Painter. Thanks for watching.